Welcome everyone to this week's episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Well, welcome. It's great to have you for another broadcast of Jim and Java. We are rapidly getting through the month of August and these are definitely busy times as I'm hearing more and more of you planning on events in the fall and in the spring. Many of you are fully engaged having recruited table hosts for your fall event and are now beginning to recruit table hosts for the spring events that are being held. So these are busy and exciting times and of course it won't be long and uh, we're about six weeks away really from beginning our planning for year end and year end is always a busy time and be on the lookout for a series of videos October, November, December that will be focusing in on maximizing your year end efforts and your year end strategies. So I'm excited for that. Well, let's dive right into our first question with Jim and Java today. Our first question today is from Mary in Lorton, Virginia. And Mary asks, using social media to reach out to donors with personal messages, good or bad? Well, Mary, I can definitely tell you that using social media has become a very, very useful and productive tool for nonprofit organizations to get their message out there, whether that be Facebook, Instagram, uh, using LinkedIn, using other social media platforms that are out there, even TikTok, to get their message out. But what your question is getting to is, is it good to be able to get your personal message directed to that person out using social media? And there was a bigger part to this question and that question related to your inability to be able to reach people on the phone and through the mail so the question really was related to social media as a platform to reach people personally i would have to say mary you need to really tread lightly on that one because that is a very very uh, personal and very sensitive way to communicate with people. Uh, communicating on the platform as a whole is can can uh, you know we we have all seen the good and the bad and the ugly that's come out of social media in that people using social media platforms incorrectly. But when you essentially move behind the scenes to either IMing or using personal messages to those people, um, it's very much like moving from knocking on someone's front door to coming in through the back door and just greeting someone. And so there's a real personal nature to that. So if you don't have much of a relationship, and that's the assumption here, in that if you had uh, a good relationship with the people, you probably would have a cell phone number, they'd be picking up your phone calls, and they'd be answering your questions. But there must be this, this must mean that you don't have a real deep and meaningful relationship with the person. So coming in through social media is a way of doing it, but frankly, it's a little bit more threatening to someone than just calling on the phone with someone. Uh, it's very close to being a text with individuals, and that needs to be used wisely as well. But uh, when you call someone, they have a really easy choice to either pick up or not pick up, either let it go to voicemail and call you back or not call you back. But when you use IM or other ways within social media, reach out to someone, it's right there in their face and they have to deal with it. They could choose not to answer, but it starts to get very personal that way. So I think you just need to be careful uh, about going over the line when it comes to trying to reach out, communicating, and using it as a way to either set up appointments or 
to uh, ask people for money if that was your intention. So anyway, Mary, I hope that helped. Uh, those of you who enjoyed this video, we've got a whole library on Development Effectiveness Strategies channel. You can also watch our subject videos, our subject matter videos, and uh, definitely check out other Jim and Java videos that are out there. And watch us, follow us on Instagram at Dev Effectiveness Strategies. You can uh, respond and submit questions at DevFStrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java on Twitter. And you can also join our Facebook group where we put a lot of relevant and helpful tips and topics and videos out there as well too. So just look for Development Effectiveness Strategies on Facebook and join our group. I hope we achieved our goal of helping you to increase your income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next video. See you next week. Take care.